Hello and welcome to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol and I'm so glad you've joined us today. We're continuing to come to you from our YouTube channel and if you haven't already, if you click that subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it. So we're going to continue into our poses that are lengthening the spine. We will do a little bit more deeper dive into it today and we are going to stay seated in our chair the entire time and we only need our chair today. All right. Let's get started. So we're going to come up nice and tall. We're coming forward in our chair. We're not leaning back. Think about pulling your belly button to your spine, lifting your heart up. The minute you begin lifting that heart, you feel that core engage, right? You feel that belly engage anyway. So that's just always a nice thing to be thinking about. But let's consciously pull those shoulders down. So we tend to inch those shoulders up and let's just pull those shoulders down out of the ears. Place your hands lightly on your thighs, palms facing up. Take just a moment to ground those feet to the floor. So think about having all four pressure points of both feet equally weighted on the, the floor and then have those sits bones equally weighted on the chair. Let's close our eyes. Focus your attention on your heart center. Let go of everything outside of this room. And connect to your breath. Now begin to deepen that breath, inhaling a little more deeply and exhaling a little more completely. And we're going to move into our belly breath. As we inhale, the belly extends. We're feeling the lungs up from the bottom up. And as we exhale, we pull the belly button to the spine and we push the air up and out of the lungs. It's also known as that yoga breath, engaging that diaphragm. Go ahead, do that a few times at your own pace. And breathe normally. Let's continue with that diaphragmatic breath and we're going to inhale to four counts and exhale to five counts. Go ahead at your own pace. And breathe normally. This time I want you to just count to yourself. Inhale to four and then exhale. See if you can go to five, six, maybe even seven counts. Go ahead at your own pace. and breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your intention for today's practice. One more breath. Release it and open your eyes. Let's drop our right ear towards our right shoulder. Oh yeah. And drop the chin towards the chest. Left ear towards left shoulder. And chin towards chest. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. And from here, I want you to just take your nose at a diagonal and look up towards the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Take the nose back down center and then see if you can take that nose down to where you're looking towards the floor. Go ahead and take that nose back center and bring your head up. Oh yeah, how does that feel? Let's roll those shoulders. Ah, and reverse it. All right. Let's drop 
the left ear to the left shoulder. And drop your chin towards your chest. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Chin towards your chest. All right, left ear towards left shoulder. Now, just take your nose, and you're just going to kind of keep that nose at a diagonal as you look up at the ceiling, just to maximize the stretch in the neck. Do you feel that? I do. All right, come back down. And now we're going to just track that nose down towards the floor so that we're looking down towards the floor. And go ahead and track at center. And look up. All right. Roll those shoulders. <coughs> Excuse me. My goodness. Roll those shoulders and reverse it. All right. Beautiful. Let's do a couple of cat and cows. We're going to take our hands on those uh, thighs. We're going to pull our belly button to our spine, round the shoulder, tuck the chin. Let's go ahead and lift up. Grab the back of your chair and lift your heart. Ah, into your cow pose. Let's do that again. Round it down. And lift it up. Let's add the breath. Inhale here. Exhale, round it down into your cat pose. Inhale, lift it up into cow. Round it down into cat on that exhale. And release it. And roll those shoulders again. Oh, yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, we're going to move into our mountain pose. Keep those arms at parallel so we're, our palms are not together for this one. Shoulders are down. Belly is tight. See if you can touch the ceiling. Keep those hips down. Big circle around. Bring your hands to your heart. We're going to go straight up. Interlace fingers, pointer finger to the ceiling, shoulders are down, belly is tight, lean your mountain. Remember, keep the opposite hip down, come up and lean your mountain the other way. Come up, make that big circle around. Let's come down, up, here we go. Interlace fingers, pointer finger to the ceiling, let's lean our mountain. We're going to come up and we're going to lean the other way. And we're going to come up and we're going to make that big circle around and roll those shoulders. And reverse it. All right, good job. Heel toe your feet wide. I'm going to come a little closer to the edge of my chair. Heel toe those feet wide. Take that right shoulder. My hands are on my thighs. I'm going to take that right shoulder and let it fall straight down between my knees. All right, let's come up and we're going to do the other side. So we're going to let this shoulder fall straight down between those legs. And we're going to come up. Let's roll those shoulders again. Do you feel that stretch a little bit, right, through the arms? But we're also getting a little bit of side waist in there. Okay, we're going to do that again. Let's start with this side, right? So I'm extending long first, and then I'm just letting that shoulder fall down. So I not only am feeling the shoulder, it kind of goes down into my uh, arm, and then I also feel this side just a little bit of a stretch. Come up, and let's do the other side. Extend first. And then let that shoulder come straight down towards the floor. And come up. All right. Leave those legs right where they're all. Actually, you know what? I feel like they're a little too wide. So I'm going to bring my feet in just a little bit. But they're still wide. Okay? I'm going to place my hands on my thighs. And I'm going to let myself rock to the left. And then I'm going to come center. So it's a big body circle. Then I'm going to come out to the other side, and I'm going to lean back. Belly is tight. Let's do that again. Big circle. All right. And 
let's come up, take just a moment, and we're going to reverse that circle. So this time I'm going to start to the right. Both of my seat, my sits bones stay down. I kind of feel myself wanting to come up, but I want you to make sure they both stay on the chair, okay? So as you're leaning, there's that sideways stretch, right? Let's come forward. We're stretching. We're warming up that spine just a little different. And then belly is tight. We're going to come back and around, and we're going to do that again. Big circle with that body. And come up. All right, how does that feel? Heel toe those feet back together. Okay, so if you were with me last time, you remember that we did, and we're going to be doing the same thing. So we're going to turn and we're going to face this way, okay? So you're facing to the left, all right? Now, we're going to start with our hands at heart. We're lengthening that main idea of this whole exercise is lengthening through the spine. And then we're, we're going to come down and up, and then we'll add our lever length with our arms, and then we're going to twist, and then we're going to add a couple of things on with that twist, okay? So follow along. We're all good. It doesn't matter if you weren't here before. It's all good. So glad you're here. Bring your hands to your heart. Lengthen through that spine. Now I'm going to cue the breath for a while, but I may get to the point where I forget to cue it. So you'll inhale as you extend, and then you exhale as you come and, and like extend the spine long, and then you exhale as you make that extension out and down. Okay. So that's kind of the idea behind it, but I'll, I'll cue that. All right. Ready? Here we go. Inhale, extend the spine long. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Come forward, lengthen through. Try to touch your head to the wall in front of you. Take a deep breath in and on an exhale, we're going to press through your feet, press through those feet and come back up to seated. Here we do that again. Inhale here, extend, exhale, come forward. Inhale here, exhale, press through. Now we're going to add on. If you want to stay here, that is great. If you want to add on, we're going to have our arms to the ceiling. Here's a long lever length, isn't it, right? That's going to put more pressure on the back. It's going to extend that spine a little bit longer, stretching more. So you do what works for your back. Inhale here, exhale. Try to touch the wall in front of you. Hands come down. Extend, extend, extend. Take a deep breath in. On an exhale, press up. Bring your hands to your heart. Let's do that again. Inhale here. Exhale. Hands to the ceiling. Inhale here. Exhale. Extend out. Try to touch the wall in front of you. Head is forward. Hands are forward. Inhale here. Exhale. Back up we go. And bring your hands to your heart. Okay, we're going to add on. So we're out here, right? And when we come up, what we're going to do is we're going to take our right hand and we're going to windmill it up and around. Now, what I want you to do is have your palms facing me, and we're going to open. Woo, right? All right. So it's different. It really will feel different, and it's quite a stretch. So do what works for you, right? And always remember, if having those arms out long is too much, just bend your elbows, and that's going to reduce some of the pressure. If you're feeling pressure in your shoulders or if you're feeling pressure in your back, one thing is to stretch and strengthen, and another thing is that it just doesn't feel good, okay? So you, I want you to stay safe. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in, and on an exhale, hands to the ceiling. Are we ready? Belly button to spine. Inhale here. Exhale, extend it out. Try to touch that wall in front of you. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press it up. Now keep going. That right arm is going to windmill around, and you're going to be facing me. Palms face me. Palms are out. You see that? Okay, are we ready? Shoulders are down. Spine is long. Take a deep breath in, and we're going to press those palms or the backs of the hands to the back wall. Oh, boy, does that feel like a stretch to me. All right, ready? Right hand now is going to come down and around. Back up you go. Stretch it up. Take a deep breath in. On an exhale, now you're windmilled around, and you're looking over the back of your chair. And you open up those palms. See if you can touch the back wall with your backs of your hands. Take that left hand, come back up, both hands up to the ceiling, and bring your hands to your heart. Okay, how does that feel? Checking in. So if that's a lot on your shoulders, keep those elbows bent, right? So here we are, and we're, we're twisting and we're opening. You're still going to get a lot of the same work. The spine is long. 
It's just maybe a little less on the shoulder. Okay, are we ready? Inhale, exhale, hands to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, extend out. Try to touch the wall in front of you. Take a deep breath in, press through the heels, back up to the uh, hands to the ceiling. Windmill, face me, palms face me, press it back. Oh, yeah. This hand comes down and around, up to your hands, up to the ceiling. Here we go. We're going to twist and we're going to face the back wall. Open it up. Hands back up to the ceiling and bring your hands to your heart. One more time. Inhale here. Exhale up. Inhale here. Exhale. Extend. Inhale here. Exhale. Press it up. Windmill. Facing me. Open up those palms. Down and around. Hands to the ceiling. Windmill. You're looking over the back of your chair. Open up. Hands to the ceiling and bring your hands back down to your heart. Was that a lot of work on your arms? You feel it? Take a little moment. We're going to go to the other side. All right? Let's all grab a sip of water as we come to the other side. Okay. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale here. Exhale. Keep your hands at heart. Just hinge forward, trying to shoot your head forward. Inhale here. Press it back up. Let's do that again. Extend the spine long, come forward, trying to touch the head to the wall in front of you, and press it back up. All right, we're adding on. Hands to the ceiling. Here we go. Extend out. Try to touch that wall in front of you. Here we go. Press it up. Let's do that one more time just like that. Down we go. Extend that spine long. Try to touch the wall in front of you. Press it up. Two hands to the ceiling and bring your hands back down to your heart, checking in. Are we ready to add on? Here we go. Inhale here, exhale, hands to the ceiling. Inhale here, exhale, extend long. Try to touch the wall in front of you. Press it up. Let's come into that twist. Palms are facing me, the backs of the hands to the back wall. See if you can open it up. Oh, yeah. Down and around, up we go. And we're going to twist and we're going to look over the back of our chair and open. Hands back up to the ceiling. Bring your hands to your heart. Are we ready? Can we do that again? Let's do it. Inhale, exhale, extend. Here we go. Extend it out. Try to touch that wall in front of you. Stretch that spine. Press it up. There's your strengthening. Come. Windmill open, facing me. Palms face me and press the backs of the palms back. Down and around we go. Open it up, facing the other way. Palms facing out, back of the hand to the back wall. Hands to the ceiling and bring your hands to your heart. Last time, here we go. Up, out we go. Pressing it up, windmill it open, facing me. Palms face out. Backs of the palms to the back wall, open it up, down and around, hands to the ceiling, windmill face the other way, palms face in, backs of the hands towards the back wall, back up to the ceiling with those hands and bring your hands back down to your heart. Ha! Ah, face forward. How do you feel? That's pretty intense. I know there was a lot to that, a lot of movement. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to do some stretches um, into those legs. So we're going to come towards the edge of our chair and our right leg is going to extend long. Those toes are up to the ceiling. We're going to lengthen through the spine and let the heart fall forward, keeping that back flat into our pyramid pose. Go ahead and lift your heart up and we're going to do that again. Extend and hinge. All right, very good. And you know what's next? Pigeon pose. <laughs> ankle to ankle if you like that. Ankle to knee is fine. Extend the spine long and let the heart fall forward. All right, let's go ahead and rock our baby. And let's do that again. Extend the spine long and let that heart fall forward. And 
let's rock the baby. So all I'm doing with the rock the baby is just, I just want you to move that ball and socket joint a little bit. All right. And another time. It just, sometimes you can get a little deeper stretch when you move it around a little bit in there and then deepen that stretch. That's all it's for. All right, let's go ahead and go to the other side. Extend that leg long, toes to the ceiling. Lift, let that back, uh, keep the back flat and let the heart fall forward. And we're going to come up. And let's do that again. Extend and hinge. And we're breathing. Don't hold your breath. Just a natural breath here. Ha! Ah, all right. Let's come up and we're going to move to that pigeon pose. So remember that you, if this works better for you, that's fine. If this works good for you, that's fine too. Lengthen first. Keep the heart uh, keep the back flat and let that heart fall forward. And let's rock our baby. We're going to do that again. Extend and hinge. All right, rock our okay, baby. Final time. Extend and hinge. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and sit back in our chair. You can lean back if you like. Place your hands lightly on your thighs, palms facing up. Take a deep breath in. And release it. Take a deep breath in. And on this exhalation, close your eyes. Just breathe. Connect to love. Life can often leave you weary, disheartened, resentful, and frustrated. When you feel that way, remind yourself that there is a better way. Connect to all you love. Nourish, support, expand all you love. Seek out the people, the values, the experiences, the places, the feelings, ideas, and challenges that you love. Turn your focus toward those things that energize and inspire you. It's easy to feel sorry for yourself when an uncaring world has beaten you down. It's much better, though, to turn toward the aspects of life that you love. There are exceptionally good reasons why you get up and go through each day. Keep yourself firmly connected to those reasons. Connect to love in whatever way you choose to feel it. You are made to love. You deserve to love. So let love be again and again, no matter what. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Extend the left arm long. Flip the palm towards the ceiling. And release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. And release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Extend the right arm long. Flip the palm towards the ceiling and release it. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Thanks so much for joining. And if you haven't already, please click on that subscribe button and I will see you next time.